So the original title for this video was 10 Linux apps that I can't live without. Most of these apps are open source and they're apps that I discovered using Linux. But yeah, here are 10 open source pieces of software which I cannot live without. I'll try to talk about software that you hopefully haven't heard of so that you'll find something useful in this video. For anyone wondering what open source is or means, open source is where the developers of the code of an application make it. They make the actual code that an app is written in free to view and in most cases free to distribute. So first up we have Remina. This piece of software is the open source version of TeamViewer. This software allows you to remote desktop onto another computer and take full control over it. But as long as remote desktoping is enabled on that computer and you have the login details. It's great for keeping machines up to date and having to install software on a machine you'd otherwise physically have to go to. Um, I can't live without it because in my day job it allows me to log on to machines and update them install software or restart them. Uh, next up is LibreOffice. So LibreOffice is an open source version of Microsoft Office. It comes with LibreOffice Writer, Calc, Impress, Draw, Math and Base. I have only used Writer, Calc and Impress but it's pretty solid and has enough features to allow me to conduct my daily work on. I can't live without it because it allows me to create Word docs, Excel spreadsheets and PowerPoints without having to actually have Microsoft Office installed on Linux, which has a lot of extra steps to install, not to mention the actual cost of it. So VS Code. VS Code is a lightweight code editing software, which is great for developing in a lot of programming languages. Uh, VS Code allows its users to install extensions from its own extensions marketplace, which is full of high quality extensions, which make life as a developer 10 times better. I could go from debugging on a development kit in embedded C to running a Python script all from the one piece of software. Uh, it does require setup but it is worth the effort. Uh, I can't live without it because it allows me to develop code efficiently and it has Git tools built in making development on large projects easier as well. GCC is the GNU compiler collection. So what is a compiler? A compiler is a computer program that translates code from a programming language into machine readable code. GCC is useful and something I can't live without because it is a collection of open source compilers which are free to use for developers to allow them to develop. Without GCC it could cost literally thousands of pounds for a single compiler. So I use that every day in my day job as well. By now I'm sure everyone knows what a VPN is. We see plenty of ads for them on YouTube videos. For the few that don't know, a VPN is a piece of software which hides your computer's IP address so that you can access sites that would be possibly restricted depending on where you are in the world and it's harder to actually track you. OpenVPN allows you access to a VPN for free. Numboxes is a virtualization software like VirtualBox. It allows you to run a virtual computer on your computer. So I tried Linux out for the first time on Windows using a virtual machine. It wasn't Numboxes though. Uh, it can allow you to try new software, a new OS, or set up virtual machines to run software. Setting up a virtual machine also allows for a quick turnaround if it breaks, as opposed to having to fix a physical machine, and I can't live without it for those reasons. Git is a source control system which is used by developers to keep a record of changes to code they develop. It's at its best when being used for large scale projects multiple people working on those projects. I can't live without it because I use it in work and I also use it on personal projects as well. When I wrote code and developed it, I would have multiple files with variations of the same name along the development process. With Git, I can now have one file and all the changes are recorded on a Git repository and I can go back and see exactly what changes were made and when, not to mention if a bug creeps into the code and something breaks, it's 10 times easier debugging because you can narrow down when the bug was introduced. Ansible. I made a video about Ansible which you can go back and see if you're interested. Uh, Ansible is a tool which allows DevOps engineers to keep multiple machines updated with certain pieces of software by using uh, Ansible playbooks. 
I can't live without it because of this reason and it's great as well if you're like me who and you distro hop I can just install a new OS and run a playbook and it will install all the apps that I normally go through and install each time I use a new Linux distro. Docker CLI. So to know about Docker CLI I need to briefly explain Docker. Docker is like a lightweight version of VirtualBox and it doesn't have a user interface. It is used mostly to run Linux distributions within Docker containers. If I have a Linux server and I, can, I only have access to the Linux terminal but I need to install and use Docker. This is where the Docker CLI comes in. CLI stands for Command Line Interface. So Docker CLI allows you to install Docker containers using the command line. So no need for a graphical user interface. I can't live without it for this very reason. Finally, possibly my favourite thing about Linux is the package managers. This varies based on which distribution you're using. The general application is the same. Open the command line run a few commands and I will update applications for you. They will also let you install and remove software you don't want. Uh, this is super handy on Linux and it's far quicker than for example going to the VS Code website, downloading and installing the program manually. You can just type in sudo apt install code. So final thoughts. Most of the pieces of software in this list are available on Linux and Windows. So feel free to try them. I hope you find something useful and I hope you get as much use out of them as I do. Uh, yeah, that's me, so... Alright, bye!